are only two models that have decent protection in smaller flat frontal crashes. Among the minivans we tested this year, the 2015 Toyota Sienna is the best performer. It includes structural modifications to improve front crash protection over 2014 models. Still, there's a little bit more intrusion into the occupant compartment than we like to see. It's rated acceptable overall, and when combined with an optional front crash prevention system, it's a top safety pick plus. The Nissan Quest is one of the worst performing vehicles we've ever seen in the small front overlap crash test. The structure collapsed like a house of cards. This point here moved nearly two feet toward the driver, trapping its left leg between the seat and the instrument panel. We had to cut the seat out in order to remove the dummy, and then we needed a crowbar to pry the right foot loose. Not surprisingly, the forces measured on the left leg were so high that a real person experiencing that would be lucky ever to walk normally again. You wouldn't want to be in the Chrysler Town and Country or its twin, the Dodge Caravan, in this kind of a crash. The structure collapsed around the driver. This portion here moved more than a foot into the driver's space. At the same time, the steering wheel moved to the right, so the dummy's head slid off the airbag and impacted against the instrument panel. When the structure collapses, injuries are more likely. In the case of the Town and Country, the dummy's left leg was gouged by the intruding parking brake pedal, and its knee was severely cut by a bracket underneath the instrument panel. The dummy skin's a lot tougher than human skin, so this doesn't bode well for real humans in this type of crash. Front small overlap crashes are especially tough on minivans. That's because they're typically built on car frames, but they're wider and heavier, so more of their structure is located outboard of the energy-absorbing frame rails. Still, Honda and Toyota demonstrate that